also capable of requesting a key from user space if it is unable to find one. So that's a second side effect of this uh, specific uh, system call, uh, which is not obvious from the name. Uh, what it does is it executes uh, a user space program called uh, spin request key um, in an attempt to obtain a key. So I'm not quite sure how spin request key works, but it seems that there is more documentation that we will need to wade through in order to understand what's expected and what the control flow is. And finally, we have we arrive at the third and the largest system call in the uh, key ring subsystem for the Linux kernel, which is key CTL. Uh, key CTL, as you can see, takes in different um, commands based on which uh, it interprets uh, the rest of the arguments. So it's it's a it's a lot like um, an IOPL uh, interface, which takes in a command and interprets the other arguments based on the command value. So we at, at this point, we'll just quickly browse through uh, the different uh, commands that uh, this third system call exposes. Uh, the first one is a get keyring ID, which should uh, return the so, so what it does is it takes in an ID of a, a specific uh, key, I believe. What, what they say is it maps a special key ID or a real key ID for this process. Right. Again, uh, what it seems to be doing is quite different from the command value. It's, it's very misleading, at least the way I seem to be understanding it. Uh, the description says, the special key specified by ID is looked up, fair enough, and the ID of the key or the key ring thus found is returned if it exists. If the key does not exist yet, the key will be created if create is non-zero. Fair enough. So this is better this description is way better than what's written over here. What it seems to be do, uh, saying is you give in uh, the serial number of a specific key, and if it exists, uh, then it will return that same serial number back. If it does not exist, it will return an Eno key error, unless the create flag is specified, in which case a new key will be created. Fair enough. The next one is replace a session keyring with the process subscribes to with a new one. Fair enough. So again, we can see that it takes one argument, it takes a name. That's the only thing it takes as an argument uh, besides the command. So what it does is if the name is null, an anonymous key ring is created and attached to the pro process as its session key ring. Now, uh, I've, I've searched through the document prior to this video and Nowhere in this document is the term anonymous keyring used. Uh, so I'm guessing that anonymous keyring is one which does not have a name. Uh, within the scope of this document, it's extremely unclear what they are referring to. Uh, however, that's what I'm inferring from what's on this document. Um, if the name is not null and if a keyring of that name exists, then the process tries to attach the keyring as the session keyring, and uh, if it is able to, well, access it, right? So, so this is subject to permission checks. And if that's not the case, then a keyring of this name is created and attached. Fair enough. Now, to attach the named keyring, the keyring must have a search permission for the process ownership. Right. So in order to, um, that is a bit strange. Okay, so I'm guessing 
In order to attach a key to a keyring, you normally need the permissions link and write, as we have seen in, uh, earlier in this video. Uh, but to be able to uh, uh, but to be able to attach a named keyring as the session keyring, you also need the search permission. Right, and probably need the search permission because you're searching through for a specific key. Um, okay, fair enough. Uh, in in the, in this uh, case, in in this case where you use key CTL update, uh, well, the name suggests that it is to update the payload of a specific key. And as a result, you can see that it takes in a specific serial number, it takes a payload, and it takes a payload length. Yes, this makes sense. So it will try to update the specified key. Uh, it will say not supported, e no, e operation not supported, right? If the function is not supported by the key type. If the function is not supported by the key type. Right, okay, so specific kinds of keys um, or specific kinds of key types forbid the updation of the payload, right? In which case, calling this function on that specific key will cause a not supported action. However, if that's not the case and you have the permission to write to the key, you should be able to update it. Fair enough. The payload may be absent or empty, but that makes no sense. Um, unless you want to update the payload of uh, a key to nothing, in which case it makes perfect sense. And then you have an API called keyctl revoke, which allows for uh, revoking of the keys. Curiously enough, the description over here does not say that you need to have permissions to be able to revoke a key. Does that mean you can revoke the key of any other user on the system? It's unclear. The documentation is lacking over here. Uh, the next system call is keyctl ch own, which means, which should means change owner, right? So you take the serial number of a specific key uh, and then you supply its new user ID and new group ID. So it allows for changing of the user ID, uh, of the owner ID, of the user ID, and the group ID of that specific key. Right? Uh, you can set it to minus one to suppress that change. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why this is in there. Um, and then only the super user can change a key's owner to something other than the key's current owner. Right. So only the root user can set the owner to something other than... So, so effectively this becomes a functionality that can be used only by uh, the root user. At least that's the way I understand it. Right. Um, Similarly, only the super user can change a key's group ID to something other than the processor's group ID or one of its group list members. Okay. And so at, at this point, I'm going to cut this video short and then we will resume the next video from uh, this point onwards where we look at the other uh, key CTL options that are provided. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for the next one.